It's figure skating time again. Hi, everybody. I'm Debbie Wilkes. Glad to have you with us today for a visit back in time to Calgary, Alberta, to join me, Johnny Esau, and Brian Polkar for the 1987 Skate Canada International. It was a biggie for one special reason. It was the test event for the Calgary Saddle Dome prior to the 88 Olympic Games that were scheduled to begin 106 days after Skate Canada. All the usual suspects were there in force trying to pick up valuable pre-Olympic experience and test their material at the Olympic venue and was there ever some fabulous skating. Strangely, in pairs, none of the world's top teams were in attendance, however, but the content of the competition was still very high. Let's begin today's review with the pair short event from 1987 Skate Canada. Very interesting couple from the United States and the pairs competition. They've uh, been in not for that number of years. Actually, in 1985, we saw them for the first time. But they seem to go in every uh, competition they can get at, including Skate Canada, where they finished fourth in 1985. Katie Keeley and Joseph Merrill from the United States. There's the first element for Joseph and Katie, a beautiful split double twist. With a one foot difference in the height between the two, it's very easy for him to, to get her so high in a split double twist. This couple is coached by John Nix, who also coached uh, Ty and Randy and Jojo Starbuck and Kenny Shelley, and he knows what he's doing when it comes to coaching pairs. A very determined couple. Brian, I think it's, it's interesting to point out that sometimes when height difference is so extreme as it is in this case, although it makes it easier for a very tall and strong gentleman to lift a very small girl, sometimes timing can be very difficult. Katie Keeley is 22 and Joseph Marrow is 23. They ranked third in the uh, U.S. Nationals this past year. Now watching this footwork sequence, the rules say that you're not allowed to have a lift in the footwork sequence. And right about now, you'll see Joseph lift Katie. I heard the American judge talking to the referee and said, do you have a problem with that lift? The referee said, no, he doesn't. And so. In a competition, the referee can basically direct the judges as to what is okay and what is not. That is not part of the footwork. It's an added element that just enhances the footwork. The back inside death spiral, too. I don't think there's a better one here at the competition. You're required to do at least one rotation once the man's toe gets into the ice. I think they did three. Amy Keeley and Joseph Merrill from the United States. Marks Here we have their individual side-by-side -side sit change sit spins. Very good unison and the changeover. This is something that pair couples must practice for hour after hour after hour to ensure that perfect unison. Here's the back inside death spiral. You know, this, um, as you said, Debbie, it's a beautiful element for these two. But you know, in the States, they are ranked third, but with Watson and Opergaard winning the bronze medal last year at the World Championship, this couple has a chance to be on the Olympic team, and that's yeah, why they're here in Skate Canada. Required elements. Five point three. Well, they seem to like what they saw from the Americans, Katie Keeley and Joseph Harrow, as that first set of marks is five six, and now to a four six from the British judge. That's a rather strange uh, stretch of marks, going from five six to four six, especially for required elements. I mean, somebody must have thought they made a mistake, and nobody else did. Five point the four, second five, set of marks, and this is for presentation, and these will range from 4.9 from the British judge again up to a 5.6 from the Canadian judge. Katie Keeley and Joseph Merrill from the Christine Huff and Doug LeDre from Canada. They currently rank eighth in the world. And uh, they're behind uh, Benning and Johnson in Canada, but Benning and Johnson 
had been in Skate Canada. They won St. Ivo, so they left it up to Huff and LeDre to try to win it at Skate Canada. They have certainly been winning the practices here, of course, hometown country. They are a, a most energetic young pair, and they have what I think is missing from pair skating today. They have rapport on the ice. They become very emotional. You see it perhaps less in the short program than in the long program, but it's something that I think pair skating needs to do more. Well, Debbie, you're right, because they have uh, charisma, they have a refreshing look, and you like to watch them. Canadian pairs are taking turns winning over their St. Ivels. Huff and LeDre won it last year. Benning and Johnson won it this year. A very unfortunate miss in the individual double flip jumps. Tuffy's been having some trouble with that here. She is a very strong jumper, but somehow when you know you have to do it, it gets harder. I guess it's a psychological thing more than anything else. Uh, that'll be costly because the Americans were marked high and the mistakes here are absolute. There's no second guessing and there's no judgment call. It's an automatic discount. You're right, Johnny. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 0.4, depending on the seriousness, it's difficult in pair skating to determine what the deduction should be since only one of the partners missed the jump. I'd like to comment on that beautiful footwork sequence, kind of daring to do it to slow music. Beautifully done. Up and Ladray of Canada jammed a lot of extra movements into their seven compulsory moves. Except for that one mistake, that one error, and we'll take a look and see what it, uh, what actually happened to them. Here's a look at the fall. Most unfortunate going into the double flip jumps. It looks like, from our vantage point, at least Tuffy just rushed the takeoff. The toe didn't get in. She wasn't standing up straight over the skate. Can't do it. They first set of marks and they have really deducted for the required elements as you see the 4951, the 48 down to a 46, two 48s and up to a 52 from the British judge. Here's the fall again. Debbie, you're right. She was leaning outside of the circle over the left shoulder. There's no way she could have landed that jump. Well, it shows you uh, how much that one mistake can make because in presentation, the marks range from a 5.7 from the Canadian judge to a 5.2 from the Soviet and the Japanese judges. Huff and Ladre of Canada. Fifth in the Canadian seniors from the North Shore Winter Club in Vancouver. Catherine Cates and Rob Cates. Look at the attention to the detail on the sit spins, even the hand positions. We're coached by Ted Barton and Kathy Matusik, two well-known Canadian skaters, and they're up from the national B team. Our national B team uh, when there was an opportunity to place them into the uh, Skate Canada Championships, and I think there's a very important breakthrough for them. It's the uh, opportunity they needed to show before the judges, and they seem to be taking the strain very well. In 1984, this couple was fifth in the Novice Championship of Canada. In 1986, they were second in the juniors, and people noticed them. Well, why? Well, for me, it was their, their very good linear quality. She has extremely long legs, very good line. They match each other very well. And her position, particularly in the lifts, is very good. They 
look very relaxed and loose tonight. It always helps the skating. These skaters do an enormous amount of warm-up before they even step on the ice to skate a warm-up. Lifting, spinning, stretching. Catherine Cates is 17, Robert Cates 19. They've had only one international experience, and that was when they finished fourth in the frog skate. But uh, they've come a long way from that novice that you talked about a moment ago, Brian. And you see more experience too, John. I think the seasoned skater uses every part of their body to express their music. Facial expressions are so important, and I think that uh, Catherine has certainly mastered this. And two minutes and 14 seconds later, Catherine Cates and Robert Cates expressing their delight at having completed the, this first competition of this caliber. Here are the sit spins side by side, change foot. There are the hand positions I referred to earlier. And they keep that, uh, they keep that position when they do the change over. Here it comes, the hands back. I think it's kind of neat. You can see how relaxed they were in the performance tonight. And I think that being um, a replacement or a last entry into this competition, not having the pressure of going for the gold medal, that's the time to relax, go with the flow, Jennifer and just Cole, make the best performance you can. They first set of marks, and the crowd doesn't like what they hear. These are for required elements, the 468, the 4642. Four nine, four six, and a four nine. I didn't see any serious flaws. Uh, I think this is where an international reputation would have really helped this couple. Well, they they got a little better representation, as you can tell from that fan's face expression. The second set of marks with the five zero, down to a four point six. And that's for Catherine Cates and Robert Cates from Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, Elena Kvichenko and Rashid Kadirkiev. Rashid Kadirkiev. In the Soviet Union, we have uh, not seen them before. We really don't know much about them other than what we saw in practice, but you can bet that as a Soviet pair, they'll have a lot of new moves, even despite their youth. Well, I know from watching this couple in practice that element for element, they can easily match anyone and often surpass the other couples. She just floated on that double twist with such ease. Side-by-side side double flip jumps. Ooh, a little shaky on the landing. Not I, much height for her jump. I think she two-footed that landing, too, so they'll have to deduct for that. One thing that the judges are watching for in this short program is the exit of this lift here. The gentleman must be on one foot, and I think that this couple does that the best. That's one of the things the judges talked about in their meeting before the event started. As you mentioned, Johnny, we haven't seen this pair before, but they remind me so much of the 1984 Olympic champions, Velova and Vasilia. Well, it's not uh, unlike most new Soviet pairs. They'll take a good, big, strong man and a very versatile young lady and match them together allow him to use his strength and allow her to use their timing. The final element, the back inside death spiral. Elena Kvachenko and Rashid Kaderkia from the Soviet Union.
Here's the double flip jump. Now watch Elena. I think that both feet touch the ice when she lands the jump. Yes, and a definite deduction should be made. It looked to me, though, more as if the, the toe touched down. She didn't exactly put weight on it. Some dispute, I suppose. And here is the back inside death spiral. Enormous speed, beautiful agility. Look at the back arch. One thing I noticed in this program was the type of choreography was syncopation, counterpoint, very typical of a Soviet pair, but very effective. Marks for Elena Kitschenko. It will be interesting because these judges are seeing them for the first time as well, don't forget. And uh, this first set of marks for required elements had that one slight flaw in it that uh, Daddy pointed out to you. And we'll see how much that affects them. It didn't affect them a great deal by most of the judges because in the first set of marks for required elements, you see the five fours. A three, two more five fours, and then a four and nine from the West German judge, and a four eight from the British judge. But this is the first time we've seen Kvichenko and uh, Kadyak here, but I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of them. Ah, here comes their second set of marks, and this is good. This is presentation, and this is a range of a 5.1 from the British judge up to a 5.7 from the Canadian. And then when you come to the results from the competition that we just saw, that is the pairs short competition, you see Kvichenko and Karyakea from the Soviet Union first, Keeley and Mero of the United States second, Huff and Ledre, despite that one mistake, have landed in third place. Peek and Naylor of Great Britain in fourth, Knapova and Novotny of Czechoslovakia in fifth, and Cates and Cates of Canada. And despite... Uh Perhaps a poor artistic impression by the Czechoslovakian pair, Catherine and Robert really trying to develop something special for themselves. As you can tell by their costume, it's going to be an Egyptian theme in this program. Catherine Cates and Robert Cates uh, had the opportunity to compete in Skate Canada when we had uh, a late change. So they come off our national B team, and it's a great break for them getting an opportunity here. Uh, Catherine's 17, Robert's 19, and here they are at the Skate Canada competition, having the opportunity to skate before about the 13,000 people on the ice that will be the home of the Olympics next February. before it even starts, because it's in the mind. Well, they can do those high leg camels with, when you consider the fact that uh, he's six foot one, she's five foot four. She doesn't even have to duck. Two-footed landing on the double axle throw. 
Nice platter position. We seem to have some problem with the music. Now they can either choose to continue or they can come over and then they have the choice. Oh, no, they can't. They're approaching the referee. <laughs> Don Gilchrist of Canada is the referee for this event. He'll be discussing with them what options they have available and usually the way it's handled is once there was a problem in the music, they can either choose to skate the remainder of the program from that point, or he may give them the option of skating the entire thing again. Uh, I think that's what they're going to do. And they'll come over and discuss it with their coach. Uh, that's Ted Barton and uh, Peter Jensen, the sports psychologist for the Canadian team here. This would have a psychological effect on a couple. <laughs> Sorry. Pick it up where you left it off. I'd like to pick it up where you left it off. Yeah. What about you, Sidney? I don't mind. You want to pick it up where you left off? It's up to Rob. Well, I'll pick it up from where you left off. I'll pick it up. I want you to do the fair save. I want you to do the fair save. Okay? okay. So pick it up. Get him to move it back. Pick it up from the fair save. Don't go on the way back. Put it off. Cinema Verite. just left it right up to Robert she said whatever Robert decides because he, he was him and he was you know he was doing the lifting he was the one that had to do all the hard work so she wasn't going to force him to go into it unless he felt that he was capable of doing it all over again well it's a really tough spot to be in because of course the, the whole theme and the feeling of the program has been interrupted now they decided to start where the problem was well, they've elected to start from where the problem occurred rather than take it all over again. I think that's a wise decision. Even though they did make a few mistakes at the beginning, I think that the stamina would be a factor in the altitude that Calgary is. And um, for them, I think the main thing is to, to get back into the feeling of the program, as you mentioned, and to have a nice, fresh start. They've had the advantage of having a break here, so they can be fresh right until the end of the program. The crowd is certainly with them. Apparently, Catherine does a lot of the choreography for the program. The kids make it up mostly themselves. Here's the lift where the music went bad. Watches it to pattern lift and into a side star where he has only one hand on her hip. Very difficult. And seeing the long legs that Catherine has, I was talking to Paul Martini, he said, indeed, it's very difficult. The judges, of course, are objective, but you would hope that if maybe there is a little break they might, because of what happened and what they had to put them through, that these uh, young couple might get a bit of a break. that they've now passed the 440 mark. So I guess the timing when they picked it up wasn't uh, totally was set. It was not accurate, Tony. <laughs> 19-year-old Robert Cates, 17-year-old Catherine Cates from uh, the North Shore Winter Club in Vancouver. Well, they should not be surprised by anything that happens to them in competitions from here on in, because it's all happened today. And they'll get a great response. A standing ovation 
In many areas of this arena, right behind us, they're standing and applauding. And look at how even their bows reflect the mood of the program. Very clever. Kate's were six in the competition. That is after the short program. But what a tough spot to be in. But I think I agree with uh, both uh, you, Debbie, and you, Brian, that uh, it was the wise thing to do was to pick up. It's hard to pick it up in, 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 in proper sync, though. Uh, in, in, I mean, for a single skater, it must be di different, isn't it? Well, Johnny, I, I think you're right. It certainly is very tough to start over again, but the pairs, just like the single skaters, know every beat of that music. Here is the point where the music went astray. A gorgeous platter lift. Look at her position. She finally straightens out, does the twist that you mentioned, Brian. And down. Lovely. The skaters do Mark practice starting in the Kate middle of the program. You usually practice it in sections. Here's the position on a different angle from a close-up camera. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gosh, Perfect incredible balance. balance. I bet you they're glad that's over. <laughs> Makes it very hard for the skater. Your nerves can sometimes take over at that seven. point. Well, well the uh, marks now for technical merit, 4.6, 4.7, 4.6, 4.7, and 8, four seven. Seven. and a 4.9 from the judge from Great Britain. That was a tough one to, to mark. Uh, the judges had a difficult job in trying to judge that. Uh, just an impression, the marks will range from 4.6 to 5.0. 4.7, 4.8, 5.0. Great Canada 87 continues in just a moment. Back to the Saddle Dome in Calgary. This is the live pairs championship. Skate Canada 87 and the Great Britain team of uh, Cheryl Peake and Andrew Naylor will be the first ones out as long as they've picked up all the sequins that seem to disappear in, in the warm up. <laughs> all that money. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can understand why nobody Britain, up in one of those lifts ever wants to hit one of those things. Cheryl Peak and Andrew Naylor. Andrew Naylor, 22. Cheryl Peak, 21, from Peterborough and Nottingham. Torval and Dean from Nottingham. Wow, weren't they great? Peak and Naylor. They currently stand fourth after the short pairs. Their first trick coming up. Double twist lift. You may recognize the music from this soundtrack of Superman. of Great Britain since 1985. They were second back in 1984. And it's been a long time since uh, we've had a pair from Great Britain who was, I think, of the quality of this pair uh, with the possibility of maybe climbing the ladder. They have a long way to go, but uh, this is a, a pair that might do it. I think Cheryl and Andrew have a a nice way of doing some very simple connecting steps very beautifully. Variation on the spiral. Throw double axle. Very nicely done by Cheryl. 
You know, when the man throws the lady in that, they go much higher than when you jump on your own. And I think that the timing and the force when you come down is often very difficult for these girls to land the difficult throw triples and throw double axles. We see a lot of injuries in pair skating because of this. And for another reason, in fact, because the ladies very often cannot, as individuals, do the particular trick. And I think the uh, muscular structure can't cope very often. Cheryl and Andrew do the, the lift very well, but they're very basic. And I think when we watch some of the pairs coming up, you'll see a lot of variations and, and new little twists on the uh, entries and exits and positions in the air. And I think that is what discerns the couple from the top three positions to where Cheryl and Andrew are a little bit further down the line in fourth place. Well, Great Britain has provided more of the world's greatest dancers over in, well, I guess in the history of uh, competitive skating. And I have a feeling in, in, in segments such as this that Cheryl and Andrew are more dancers than they are actually pair skaters. As you mentioned, Brian, they do their tricks very nicely, but they are more basic tricks. They don't have that complex set of difficult problems that go along. They did a very nice throw double axel, very high. She's very nicely tucked in the air, legs very tightly together, makes the rotation quick. And another very common pair move, a back outside death spiral. You see she's on the right foot and on an outside edge, which is the outside of the foot head extremely close to the ice. Debbie, you mentioned togetherness in the program, and they did get off beat with one another um, several times throughout the program, and the actual definition of pairs is two skating as one. Now, that doesn't mean that they have to do the same steps. Right, you can have uh, counterpoint choreography, synchronization, or syncopation, but the actual definition is two as one, and I felt that was lacking a bit in the program. And so the march, the technical merit march, 4851, 248, and two more 5 one. For this very neat, neatly dressed, neatly appointed couple from Great Britain. I like them. And the second set of marks, this will be for artistic impression. And this ranges from 4.8 to a 5.2. 5.2, 5.0. Elena Kapichenko and Rashid Kadir Kiev from the Soviet Union. They are the leaders. Watch these side by side triple toe loops. 
unusual. Honestly, I've been watching her. She's been the one that's been having, if there's trouble, she's been the one that's been missing in the practice. Here, a throw triple south, goes straight into side by side double axles. Very, very difficult, particularly for the girl. that to me is missing in pair skating. with moves like this and the judges have to keep abreast of all the changes and particularly the, the legalities of uh, any type of new twists in any of the moves that the pairs do. Elena Kvachenko and Rashi Kadyrkiev in the Soviet Union have not had a lot of international experience. Matter of fact, uh, Moscow skate, uh, we heard of them for the first time when they were even sixth at home, fifth in the national championship the following the year. Then they came to Skate Canada and finished fourth. So they have not had a lot of international competition. for this young couple from uh, Leningrad. Igor Moshvin is their coach. Looking back on that program, in the first 30 seconds of the program, they really set the mood. The audience was silent, watching and waiting. But through the entire program, it was rather static. It didn't go up and it didn't come down. It was always the same. And then at the end, of that interesting pose finishing off, it sort of like matched the beginning. It was quite interesting. Most of the difficult maneuvers, however, were very early on in the program, such as the triple toe loop side by side. He had some problem there, not over his skate on the landing, the free leg wild. But here is the lift that we were trying to identify. Well, here, this is a, a, the tap here into an actual, actually quite a basic lift. 
And then he takes the one hand off. She comes down she early comes out down of the jump. Right into the back Mark inside death bar. Well, I like that. Yeah. They, may not have, well, they may not have seen that one before, and if they have, here's what they thought of it. They range it from 5.2 all the way to 5.7. So that's quite a range for technical merit for the people who are actually the leaders in the competition at this point. I think that the judges were probably basing their judgment on what they saw the first time, which was in the short program. 5.3, 5 5.4, Mark's for artistic five impression, five and we have 5.3, 5.4, 5.5, 4, 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25
Most of the pairs, however, are looking tired at this point in the program. They have another half minute to go. This is a great lift. The spin on it, amazing. Finishing with a combination of jump, double toe loop, a double loop into a double toe loop, and finally into a forward inside death spiral. She goes down into the death spiral very quickly. Healy and Mero from the United States will record their best ever in international competition as a result of their performance here today. John Nix, their coach, is just coming over. John, I, I, I saw you choke up a little bit out there. He's so big and he yeah. throws her so far. <laughs> yeah. Do you close your eyes? Wow, no, the Katie is a gutsy little girl, and I was very pleased the way she did today. She recovered real well from that. However, I did have a little uh, sore throat on that one. Does he have a tendency to hold her up there too long because he's so big and strong? Well, I don't think so. I think it looks very nice and very good. I'm very happy with him. Good. Congratulations, John Nix. They certainly do have a, an ambitious series of lifts and great content in the program. Here's a look at the lateral twist. She goes up like a Lutz jump. The twist turns sideways, and we go right into the throw double axle. She had some problem with the landing. The leg goes up. Good rotation. Just a little wobbly. Down she goes. Here's one of the lifts at the end of the program. It's called a helicopter lift for obvious reasons because Joseph spins very fast and it's very difficult for Katie to hang on. You see the change in position there to a one hand and then the exit. Well, that, uh, that's going to be a good one because following them, we're going to have Huff and Dre. And if Huff and Dre can put it together, they probably will give us the most interesting performance, uh, more Sparks in it than anybody else here, Keely but they still have to do it. For technical now for Keely and Merrill. Merit. Technical merit. Okay, very interesting, because we saw moves there that we haven't either seen before or maybe only once or twice in various parts of the world. And these marks, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 2, 2, 5, 4, and a 5, 6. 5.6, They still have to work, I suppose, on completing the artistic impression and making more of a statement. Well, the marks for technical merit, artistic impression, the second set, ranging from 5.3 to 5.6. Christine Huff, 25-year-old, Doug Ladre of Canada. They were eighth in the world last year. Their musical selection this year is Slaughter on 10th Avenue. Oh, good girl. She hang on to that one. Up and Ledre are in third place. <laughs> and the throw triple twist. Chanko and Kadirkiev are still in first place. Keely and Mero of the U.S. are still second. This is the kind of stuff that I think Tuff and Doug do their, the very best. Oh, good. Wow. They landed the double lutz. That's the one that they had the problem with in the short program.
Depends how you've been getting along. I guess. Whoops. Ah. Triple toe throw. At least she could keep her hand up. Just watching the American pair earlier, I found that the music was a little overwhelming and very bold for the, the speed and the, and the force of their skating. Whereas the slaughter on 10th Avenue for Tuffy and Doug fits the personality, the charisma is coming through, and they are doing the difficult elements to match the other pairs. Here's the throw to the South Coast. There she goes. She held her hand up on that one. And as exciting as this builds up to, don't forget, at 10 o'clock tonight, Eastern time, We'll have the men's free championship. And then tomorrow, for two hours live again from the Saddle Dog, we'll have the dance championship and the exhibitions for you. Up on the gray with one more minute to go in the pairs. I love the selection of music because it has such variety. It gives a whole range of feelings to demonstrate choreographically much more interesting than some of the more standard fare. I tell you, the way they're going, they could make it. The thing about this program is you don't feel like you're watching more of the same. You're seeing a variety of moves, something different than the other pairs. They are actually contributing oh, to something. What a great lift. <laughs> Watch Carrie Leach over here to my right. He's gone through every move with them. And the final move, the back outside death spiral. What a great performance. I think the finest I've seen them ever do. <laughs> Bravo, bravo. A standing program, a standing audience, and a standing ovation. Oh, I tell you, did they throw it at him? I think that has got to be the highlight of the competition so far. Well, we're watching the forward inside death spiral. I have to say that this is the first time I have felt in watching pair skating in years. Here's that death spiral with the step over. <laughs> it's the first time that I have felt honest to goodness emotion. You know, more than just excitement, but rapport between the skaters. Real, real great expression. Well, it was emotional, but I don't know whether it was fear. In my, in my case, it was fear. Fear? Yeah. Did you think something was going to happen? Yeah, look at that death, almost the, the death drop if he doesn't get her. And here is the throw triple south This is a great, great trick. Very cool. innovative, very creative. Well, let's see now for technical merit. This is going to be very close. They were third, remember? Well, now, if they do win the long program, they will jump into first place. And in my opinion, I think that they should win the long program, technically and artistically. I think perhaps with the exception of the side-by-side -side jumps, which were not as difficult as the Soviets, and in fact, not as difficult as the US team, I think that the lifts matched lift for lift, Plus, with the, the emotion and the expression that went into the program, it was by far the superior First program of the day. Oh. Okay, five we're going to take a look seven, at that. Five, but as you do, five, let's take a look at the technical five, merit four, mark. Five, 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 five seven, five, 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 five six, a four, a five, five a six, 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 and a seven. That's for technical merit. And let's let's let's, let's keep looking at let's look at this while we wait for those second set of marks to come up because these are, these kids are so terrific. And here we go. Five six five eight five six five 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 and a five eight. 
Mm -hmm. 5.7, I think they win it all. 5.7, And don't forget, <laughs> Benning and Johnson are the Canadian champions, and they're fifth in the world. And State Canada 87 will be back in just a moment. Competitors at 87 Skate Canada were motivated by more than just gaining experience in the Saddle Dome. The city of Calgary has an altitude of some 3,600 feet, and with the dry mountain air, unless athletes were adapted to training conditions, the dream of skating a top performance could turn quickly into a nightmare. This was an extra component facing every competitor in Calgary. Canadian Elizabeth Manley and American Debbie Thomas had some other shared history too. Both had previously lost their national titles and then won them back. Debbie was even coming into Calgary as a former world champion. Yet after the short, she found herself in second place. 106 days later, she'd be in second place again, that time to Katarina Witt. And that time, she would lose not only the Battle of the Carmens, but also the free skating battle against Canada's skating diva. In fact, Skate Canada would be Debbie Thomas's last last big international win. Let's watch. Great Britain, Joanne Conway. And so, live from the Saddle Dome, that uh, Olympic fever has hit already, even though it's about 15 degrees above today. Joanne Conway of Great Britain, she was fifth in the short program after being third in the compulsory figures, and that makes her third overall. She's a 16-year-old from North Shields in Britain. These are four-minute programs the ladies must skate today. They are free programs. They are not restricted in any way, shape, or form to what they can include element-wise. The skaters are allowed to have a musical selection up to 10 seconds on either side of the four minutes. Here she's setting up for her first triple jump, the triple south cow. Triple toe loop, beautiful. I might just point out that when Brian and Debbie tells you it's gonna be a triple toe and it comes out to be a triple soccer, it's because they've been watching them in practice all week, and then they get into a championship like this and they decide to change the number or the rotation or the position of those jumps so you can get trapped even though you've been around as long as Debbie has. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> and here's the triple sow cow opened up to a double. her hands. Set up for the triple loop jump. Wow, nice. Joanne has a lot of potential. She's able to do the triple jumps. You just saw a beautiful triple loop there. She didn't do the uh, south where she chose to do a double instead, but Apart from doing the triple jump, she does pay attention to the finer details of the hand movements, and she has some very nice lines. 
She has 45 minutes left in her program. This 16-year-old rising star from Britain. She was uh, the national champion in 1985, again in 86, and of course in 87. You know, I think she's wise to have left out a couple of those intended triples, even though she opened up on one and she tried it, because otherwise it's a beautifully choreographed program. It is, and the triple jumps are well spaced throughout the program. We're at the three, four minute mark almost right now, and that was a triple toe loop. And there you Carlo. see Carlo Fossi, the coach, watching as Joanne hits the last jump, a double axle. Very good program. <laughs> she knows it. Yes, indeed. She might just be squeezing a bronze medal right there. I'd like to see that triple toe come back, Debbie, uh, as you were talking about it. It was the first triple jump in the program. She went into it with great speed, very good confidence, a nice reach back, tap, solid landing. And as I was saying, apart from the triple jump, she does pay attention to some of the details in the choreography and the spins. Here's a nice layback here with some beautiful arm movements. And see the hands. I mean, the skater Marks is working the entire Joanne body right to the fingertips. These marks are for 50% of the total. And the first set of marks will be for technical merit. Technical five merit. Five and they like four. it. They like it. 5.2, 5, five, 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 three. 5.4, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, five, four, and 2.5.4. Five, four. So they're using seven five, judges five, here. Five, They'll be using nine when they are in the Olympic as they do in the world competition. First set of marks for technical merit. Now for artistic impression, they should be just as good. And there they're up there now as we come to the marks and it doesn't really make me too happy, at least from the look on her face, but those marks of threes and fours run up to a five. I think we're pretty uh, well ranged, uh, good, good average across the board. The judges all felt of one mind. Now, here we come to the moment. By the luck of the draw in the second half, Elizabeth Manley will be skating second here. And 22-year-old uh, Elizabeth Manley, fourth in the world. She's been in four world championships. She's got more triples and more combinations than any other female skater. But if she can just stay away from that one moment. triple toe that first combination the double flip and little hops in very tough here's the triple left wow there doesn't seem to be any buoyancy or spring in the landing edge the knee is very stiff combination of all of her favorite pieces of music, she said. Another triple toe loop. She seems to be getting a little bit more under control there. She took off hell bent for leather at the, at the beginning of the program, but she seems now in the slow part to be calming down a bit. She's got a couple more triple jumps left to go. Attempted triple south cow. The music is the Canadian concerto.
soccer. Coach Peter Dunfield looking on very anxiously. Ryan, you mentioned that she started off like a house on fire, but you know, this little girl is get, just gets so pumped up that I, I think they should take her out to the patch, patch of ice out in the back somewhere and let her get it out of her system before she ever starts to skate. Personally, when I perform, sometimes I find my better performances are when I'm tired because the adrenaline takes the timing up to a level that's normal for me. But when you're all psyched up, sometimes you get a little anxious and the knees don't bend properly and the takeoffs and the jumps don't work quite right. come back but she's always coming back from the break of something you know what that was added in that is not planned in the program that triple south Cup. she's done a little insta choreography here knowing how important those jumps are to get in coming to the grand finale for elizabeth manley the canadian champion fourth in the world oh, i like that strut what a finish ah Elizabeth Manley. And this large crowd here at the Olympic Saddle Dome receives her so warmly. I don't think this was Elizabeth's best day, however. She had, I think, a problem throughout the program. She seemed to be overextended. She wasn't her usual peppy self. I mean, even Elizabeth on a bad day is still <laughs> good to me. You know, I, I'm, I'm curious, as you watch Elizabeth Let's look here, John, at the jump combination. Here's the double toe. You notice she just was not in control when it came to the landing. The free leg shot out behind. She broke in the waist. It just wasn't smooth. It may not have been her best performance. Here's the triple Lutz here. She does land it, but whoa, on full point just about. Um, but it was a brave performance, a very courageous one. She threw in that extra triple salto at the ah. end. Look at and this. she's going to get some good Five marks for it. Marks for Five technical Five merit. Despite that problem, Five look at them, seven. those sevens Five and a six. six. 5.7, 5.7. You know, as I saw her come off the ice, she could Five hardly seven. catch Five her seven. breath. Five and I read Larry Witt's column Five in the paper seven. today who said skating is an art, but it is not a sport. But I'd like to see him do four minutes of what this kid just did. Marks for artistic impression. Next, we'll have oh, artistic yeah. impression, and we'll go up to eight. Here we are. Five, five eight, five, five six, two, five, five eight, five sevens, five and five eight. eight. And you know five that five is going to put the pressure five on six, Debbie Thomas. Six, There's no question about that. When you string five off five those sevens and eights. It's always tough for the next competitor coming up when there's such a roar from the crowd. And here is Patricia Smith from the Royal Donora Club. This is a 22-year-old prima ballerina. And I often wonder why this girl has so much difficulty in reaching the medal podium when a girl like Trixie Schubert with figures alone could win a world championship. And this girl, one of the greatest ballet stars we have, has difficulty reaching a podium in ice dancing. I think that's what the balance has been for Patsy, Johnny. She, although may not have accomplished as many triple jumps as many of the other girls, her style has carried her. It's indeed refreshing, I think. A very feminine skater, it's beautiful to watch. Patricia is 22. Tall girl, five foot five. She was 11th in the World Championships last year. Now that was intended to be a triple toe loop to open up the program, and Patsy opened up and did a double. The same thing happened in the short program. She didn't do the triple toe loop there. She's been having a bit of problems with that triple toe. And you know, she is a very balletic skater, but you can only rely on that for so long, and again, a single axle there. You must do the difficult technical jumps. Well, with those moves, 
she doesn't want to do it here, she can always do it at the Bolshoi. Since you mentioned ballet music, Johnny, I think a lot of our audience will know that this is music from Swan Lake. There it is. It was only two years ago that she finally won the Alberta uh, sectionals and divisionals. And she went into her first Canadians and, and uh, was third or eighth. And then, uh, then she went to sixth and third and third and then second uh, uh, this past year. this line. so refreshing about watching Patricia is that you don't have to do triples to get the response of the audience. As a matter of fact, Patricia actually does live in Calgary, but she trains in Edmonton. She comes down every weekend to visit the family, and so she's somewhat of a hometown girl here. Coming into the final half minute of the program, Patricia Schmidt, number two in Canada, number six at the moment at Skate Canada. We have a lot more action. Patricia Schmidt has uh, completed her program. She's trying to catch her breath. She's sitting there, hasn't had an opportunity yet to talk to her coach about it because she just can't catch her breath. I think she's pretty disappointed, John, and I feel she's going to get killed on the technical merit mark. Well, I agree with you, Debbie, because she did not do one triple jump. She attempted only one double axle and flipped out on the landing on that. And undoubtedly, a beautiful performance like this layback spin. You see the arch in the back, far superior to some of particularly the European girls. And um, but in today's four. age, in the skating world, you just can't get by without having a triple jump. No, I think those marks there indicate that because when you are, uh, you know, in world-class competition and in your free program, you get four fives to four nines for required elements or the technical merit portion of it. That means that you just don't have it uh, mechanically. Artistic oppression will be a different story, but oh. This is very surprising. Marks ranging up to a 5-0 for artistic impression. And, um, Here's our Canadian judge, Audrey Moore. It's very difficult. I think this is the point when every skater wants to go out and do it again. Well, that's too bad, but we're going to... You know, keep our fingers crossed for her. Next, we have Simone Koch from East Germany, a very beautiful young lady. She reminds me a great deal of Katarina Witt. And I think in two years' time, might even skate as well. She was 12th in the world two years ago. Didn't make it to the world last year. Ninth 
fifteen year old simone coat from east germany That was a double axle to open up the program. You see how she hung on with strength to that landing. That's what Simone did yesterday in the short program. And she was one of the very few ladies to complete all seven elements, including a triple in the combination. And she has triples planned here today. like to remind all skating fans, particularly in the West Coast, we'll be moving on from Calgary to Victoria for the 1988 Canadian Figure Skating Championships, January the 18th to the 24th in Victoria. Still tickets available. And uh, what a grand uh, final that's going to be because that will select our team of 17 skaters to go or to come back here to Calgary for the Olympic Championships. These German skaters have been lost in the shadow of Katarina Witt. When you stop and think that Simone was the junior world champion back in 1983, was actually a national champion the next year, but that has been Katarina Witt ever since. And there with the triple loop, we see a, a kind of a growing effort during this program. She's been almost lazy up to this point, taking it carefully, cautiously, not really going for it. It's a very difficult competition for these skaters. It's the first major competition of the year. A lot of them have really just completed choreography. It's probably the first time that they have publicly shown their new programs. Nice triple toe. And I think a, a lot of the errors are through inexperience and not having skated those miles on the program yet. Bielman spin, so called, so named, by Denise Bielman, former world champion. Simone Koch of East Germany. She was six in compulsory figures, same position in the short program, and therefore six as she skated into this free portion. She had some serious problems. Uh, most kind of chickening out. Here, though, was a good attempt at the triple, triple loop jump. You see the body leaning, wild free leg on the landing. It was quite late on in the program, too, which makes it very difficult. Actually, Johnny, if I, if I may do so, Simone was third in the short program, and she's lying fourth at the moment. And uh, Suzanne Becker from West Germany is in fifth. Now, Simone had the, as you see here on your, on your screen, the Bielman spin named after Denise Bielman of Switzerland. A very unusual spin. Very few skaters in the world can do that. But with the lack of triple jumps in that performance, Suzanne Becker of West Germany does have a chance to move up into fourth. I would uh, venture to guess that Joanne Conway would remain in third position at this point. But um, 
we'll have to see what Suzanne skates like to see if she can overcome Simone. First, we'll Marks have Simone's marks. Simone These skaters, that we talk about them as if they choose to do Portland an imperfect five program. Five and, two, you know, no one knows zero, why it happens. Like the Gomara, 49520, then 52s and a 50. Sometimes your body feels like it weighs 4,000 pounds. You couldn't get it around a jump, <laughs> no matter what. I've had days like that. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Well, the second set of marks uh, for our just the compression will be better than that, as you see. 4-8 from the finish judge. Then you down to a 5-2. But we still have uh, two skaters left, Suzanne Becker from West Germany and Debbie Thomas. Here we have uh, Suzanne Becker from West Germany, who is in fifth place at this point. She's a 17-year-old from Wackenheim. Suzanne has been skating very consistently here. jumps and toe jumps. That was an attempt to triple Salco. Very lazy in the air. She just didn't quite get into that rotating position quick enough and just sort of slumbered down onto the ice. Elizabeth Manley is in first place at the moment. Debbie Thomas will be the next and the last skater. And so it's gonna come right down to the wire. And Debbie Thomas catch her? Or will she have to settle for second? Debbie Thomas won the short program. Suzanne Becker is the backup to Claudia Liesner of West Germany, the great champion that they have, who is in the top, uh, well, medal ranking in the world. I think we'll see her at the Olympics taking a real run at it. Of course, that's what's so important about this competition is it is the one and only time that many of the countries that will be here for Olympics will have the opportunity to send their skaters and get the experience here in the new building. Well, that's why Debbie Thomas and uh, Brian Boitano both insisted that they come and compete here. Uh, they wanted to be on this ice. They wanted to feel the ambience of the Calgary crowd and uh, all the facilities. And uh, I think it was a wise move for them. Both, both were in second place and really didn't have anything to lose. very poorly laid out program. All of the jumps are squished into one end zone. The judges will consider that in their marking. Coming down to the final five seconds now for Suzanne Becker. The 
the 17-year-old silver medalist from West Germany who rates 12th in the world and 5th in State Canada. Trying, trying very hard to smile, but she says, wow, am I glad to get this one over. <laughs> we'll have the marks for Suzanne in just a moment. We'll be back with Skate Canada 87. Let's have a look at Suzanne's combination of a double axle, double toe loop. A little bit wide on the free leg, but she gets into that double toe loop and it comes out clean. She has an interesting jumping style. Most, most skaters will really utilize the force uh, driven from their arms by pulling the arms down close to the thighs and pulling them up into the body. When she jumps, her arms Marks rarely go below Susan her waist. Fisher. They Four really don't help very Europa, much. Eight, Here's Debbie eight, Thomas waiting for nine, permission seven, to start her program. Nine, March for nine, technical nine, merit for Suzanne Becker. Eight, eight, nine, eight, seven, eight, and then three, eight, four, nine eight, for technical eight, merit. Eight, <laughs> ah, the girl March Suzanne, eight, now she's got uh, an opportunity to smile. Four point nine, four point eight, four point nine. 4.7. Second marks range with that 4.9, up to a 5, then a 4.9, and a 4.7. That's artistic impression. And now we go to Debbie Thomas, the final skater. She's in second place. Can she catch Elizabeth Manley? We're going to find out. This is the girl from Stanford University, a medical student. And uh, she's uh, 20 years of age. She's I don't know, she's got probably the softest landing of anybody. I don't know if it's her knees or her ankles that does it for her, uh, Debbie, but I think it's interesting to watch her to see how softly she touches down. This is a beautiful program. She expressed some interest early in the season about working with Baryshnikov. Invited him to come to the sky rink one day. He came, got totally turned on by figure skating, and either he or one of his assistants has worked with her on this program. Double south with double toe lift combination. All the ladies here today are doubling their triple jumps. I don't know if it's contagious or what, but uh, I don't think it's it's going to be happening at the Olympic Games. I think they're getting it out of their system now. I think the most intriguing thing about this Baryshnikov inspired program is that it's the first time I've seen Debbie able to captivate an audience, to pull them into her performance. She's wonderful with the Wanda skating routine, the, the comical routine. But this is the As first coach, time I've seen her. Coach Alec McGowan. She came on with the real surge in 85 and 86, winning the Nationals Festival, St. Ivel's Skate America, the National Championship, and then the World Championship. Then dropped a second for both nationals and worlds last year. as a result of limited speed.
interesting story. This is music from Carmen, but some of the less well-known pieces, and apparently Katerina Witt, the defending world champion from East Germany, has chosen for her long program almost identical pieces of music from Carmen. Triple sow in combination, a great big smile. I bet you Don Jackson, wherever he is, is not sitting still at this moment with Carmen. This was his music when he won the World Championship in 1962. Coming to a conclusion, and it's a great conclusion. She did it so beautifully. I don't think there's much doubt about what's going to happen here. She did it when she had to do it, and you can tell by the look on her face that she knows it. Debbie Thomas from the United States, San Jose, California, in the Los Angeles Figure Skating Club. It was a beautifully finished, unhurried, well-executed program. Beautifully balanced. As I said at the top of the show, a skater's experience and their track record comes into play here. And you could see she was thinking all the way through. She wasn't, um, the timing was there. The jumps were relaxed. She was into the mood of the program. She's very happy with that performance. She is going to be meeting up with Barishnikov again before the U.S. Nationals so that he can Works further fine-tune the program. Well, I think as far as the skating program, there's one choreographic flaw, and that's two-thirds of the program takes place on one half of the ice, which really, I think, should be looked at and analyzed. Here's the triple-toe, triple-toe combination. Very quick, nice height. Look at the rotation, and bang, right into the second triple. And because she did it technically so well, you can see what they did in the mark. Eight, a six, and five, seven. And that's for technical merit. Our just the compression will be equally as good, and that should do it for her. Debbie Thomas has, has come back. She has come back. There we have those five eights, sevens, eight, a six for the British judge, and a five eight for the American judge. And that will put Debbie Thomas in first place, Elizabeth Manley second, uh, Conway is third, Simone Cock is fourth, and there's... Uh, Shot Elizabeth of Elizabeth. Manley congratulating her, and so with Cock, and then we have uh, those top four. Well, it was a hard fought and a well-won competition for Debbie Thomas. And if your memory needs tweaking at the Olympic Games just three and a half months later, despite all the hype about the Battle of the Carmens, Debbie Thomas would slip down to bronze and Liz Manley with a career best would nearly snatch the gold medal away from defending Olympic champion German Katarina Witt in one of the hottest Olympic women's finals ever. We've got tons more 87 Skate Canada footage to share, but no time left today to take a look at either men or dance. So please put us in your date book for next time when we'll return to Calgary for more of 87 Skate Canada International. That's it today for Figure Skating Classics. We'll see you soon.